Key West, and in this video, I'd like to demonstrate the new powerful simulation tools provided by 1CNC XR3. Now, as a comparison, let's first take a look at an older version of 1CNC. Here's 1CNC XR2, and you can see we have the same part and the same operations here. We're going to right click and select Simulate. Now, in XR2 and older versions of 1CNC, the only type of simulation available was two dimensional or cross sectioning. You would define your stock size, the tool speed, and click OK, and you get a nice two dimensional cross section of it. Now, though this was very nice, 1CNC XR3s vastly improved on this. We'll let this finish out here. It's just about finished. OK, now let's take a look at XR3. We're going to right click on our group and we're going to select Simulate Rest. Note now there's three options stock model, round bar, and 2D simulation. We'll talk about stock model in a different video. Let's start with 2D simulation. This is similar to the older style simulation, but there's a lot of improvements. First note how nicely the dialog box is laid out. You still get to specify your stock size and quality. We'll click OK. First thing you'll note is in the upper right hand corner, 1CNC now tracks the location of the tool. In the lower right hand corner, you can specify different colors. And in the lower left hand corner, you can control the speed. We can slow the simulation down, or we can speed the simulation up. These colors along the bottom of the uh, simulation here represent the different tools. And you can change these colors if you want to, but each different color represents a different tool. For example, if I change this to primary and rewind, you can see now the tools are represented in a different color down here. All right, let's take a look now at three dimensional simulation. This time we're going to select round bar. You still get to select a stock size and your visual quality. We'll click OK to that. And now here's the simulation. While it's simulating, you can rotate. You can zoom in and zoom out. Let's stop this, rewind, and why don't we change the color to, how about steel? We're going to replay this now. And now we've got steel colors. We can rotate, zoom in, zoom out. Of course, you can change the speed as well. Let's slow this down. Here's the back turning. Let's change the speed back up to our default speed. All right. Now, another thing I should point out is that within XR3, you also have the ability to perform cross-sectioning on your three-dimensional model. Right now, cross-sectioning is turned off. Let's change this to front, and you can see now we have a nice cross-section. This is also dynamic in that you can take your cursor and slide this, and you can dynamically cross-section. There's front cross-sectioning, there's side and top cross-sectioning. What's also neat about this cross-sectioning is that you can perform this while simulating if you want. Let me demonstrate. I'm going to rewind, start the simulation. There's a nice cross-section. As I rotate around, I can see the part in 3D. And if I'd like, we can take our cursor and we can dynamically change that if we want to. That looks great. I'm going to rewind. I think I'll change the color just one last time to how about brass. We'll turn our cross-sectioning off. I sure appreciate you watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching.